David Zeritsky from the Bond Experience. We are in London at the NPL store, and I am here with Adam Holdsworth, Managing Director, Owner of NPL. Adam, thank you for having us. Pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you. And, and I've got to tell you right off the bat, not to make you incredibly uncomfortable, but um, so this is a bit of a mecca for Bond fan because um, obviously starting with Skyfall, we were all introduced to NPL, and people have seen our particular videos, we reviewed your videos, we went out into the wild, we tested the sweater, it worked beautifully, and we all got hooked. And then, sure enough, we found out that NPL was back again. How did you feel? How did the company feel about being back with Bond? Uh, we were so incredibly excited. Uh, I mean, it's just an amazing, iconic brand, and uh, to have that association uh, for a, a niche London brand like us, who were just cashmere specialists, and uh, it's just amazing. It really is. Yeah. Now, um, I know this is probably going to be mm. going into hollowed ground, but um, mm. a Bond fan, I would imagine. I've always been a Bond fan. Yeah, yeah. I would kind of. I was probably in my youth a bit more of a Roger Moore kind of Jaws era. Uh, same, and, and that same. Was, yeah. but, you know, we've all got our problems. Yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I loved about it, though, with with um, moving from Roger Moore to even Pierce Brosnan, who was you know clearly good-looking guy, almost model-like, to Daniel Craig, who, who looks like an assassin. He looks like he could kill you. Yeah. But also connecting with luxury brands like Peel, And that's what I think a lot of our viewership has loved, is that you can still have this real man about town that looks like yeah. he could snap your vertebrae, but yet he's wearing Tom Ford, and Peel, and Omega. Yeah. So, question for you is, um, Skyfall finishes, you have this yeah. rush of orders. How have you dealt with the crazy Bond fans like me? <laughs> They're insane. Let me, let's be honest. No, it's always a pleasure. Uh, I mean, the, the strange thing with Skyfall was that we, we it was just the start of the association. Yeah. So we weren't actually, until the film came out, we didn't even know. We, we didn't hadn't, hadn't had it confirmed that we were actually included in the film. So we were wow. really behind the curve with that one. Um, uh, but obviously with the, with the new film. Yeah. Um, we were much more involved in the process uh, of actually creating product for Bond. Yeah. Um, and we've got the flexibility to do that, whether it's through the design and adjusting existing styles, so that it does exactly what they wanted it and to I, achieve. I want to talk about that in yeah. detail. Before we get there, it's interesting. So you mentioned something that I don't think all the viewers realize. Bond brands, you know, mm. whether you're organically a part of history or you, and there's nothing wrong with this, pay $46 million to have somebody drink a, a beer on screen. Again, nothing <laughs> wrong with that, but there's different ways that brands become associated. Yeah. And Peel, your company's brand, became associated organically. It was something that happened, somebody yeah, kind of walking absolutely. in and... Yeah, it was, it was from Skyfall, they were looking for a very particular type of blue, something to pick up Daniel Craig's eyes. And Rightfully so, gorgeous eyes, allegedly. Cashmere is a, is a natural pick anyway, they wanted yeah. a cashmere sweater, and we had uh, just the right shade of blue, and from that, you know, can you make us uh, several of those? Yes, of course we can, and away right. we go. Um, Did so they tell you right off the bat that this is for James Bond? They were telling you it was to be in a film, and uh, yeah. and it's going to be in a Bond film, and, oh. but even though, you know, we get... We have a bespoke service, we have a very wide variety of clients come in and you get some really strange requests now. Yeah, the association started and I think it's nice that it wasn't, you know, that it was, it's been gradual. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, that's what made it more special. But the gradual's over. I'm sure yeah, you're the feeling gradual, it. The so, I mean, and what <laughs> you can see is over. there's a sea of individuals here that are ready to pounce. They want to actually get this video done because they're ready to buy these things. So the reality is is now NPL is back with, um, and I'm going, to put, I'm going to put this out there, and this will be slightly controversial, um, an unknown amount of items because we're still identifying things, but we know certain items that are out there. So, question is, is that mm. organic spread, did they come in here and say, I need this, I need this, I need that for that scene? I mean, how much more descriptive were they this time? Because as most of you know, unless you've been slightly brain dead, I'm wearing one of the sweaters that Bond yeah. wears in the film. So, how specific were they this time with you? Um, oh, really quite specific, as in that, the particular sweater that you came about, how that originated was, uh, we had it in the collection, they loved the grey, the Fumo grey. <laughs> That's going to be fantastic as a color. They love the cable, you know, modern. It's cut modern, but uh, but timeless at the same time. Right. Um, but we're really looking for a roll neck. Can you put a roll neck? Yeah. We looked at a couple of other roll necks, mm -hmm. and we said, well, we can put this neck or this neck on it. Uh, okay. Well, let's make it into that nice ribbed roll neck, and we'll put it on the cable, and let's see what that looks like. And right. so, 
you know, it was really very much created yeah. for, you know, for Bond. That's fantastic. I mean, yeah. it's so much more part of it. And, I, you know, for those of you, and I won't give any spoiler alerts um, where this does show up, this one actually features very prominently, and this gentleman... Yeah, I think I'm going to guess. I'm, I'm <laughs> killing him because he's about an hour away from seeing the film. So this is destroying him inside. Um, but the reality is, is this one shows up extremely prominently in a yeah. very significant scene. We thought early on, in fact, we have detectives, some of you may know Simon Rusgar out there, who will notice like a little tiny bit peeking from the top and go, ah, oh, it's the lapis, I can't do a Scottish accent, ah, oh, it's the lapis blue, you know, rolled back from, uh, or excuse me, mock from and peel. But the reality is we thought it was going to peek out of the top. In fact, yeah. one of us had sent you a picture. Yeah, oh, look, absolutely. isn't that cute? It's peeking out from the top, yeah. only to realize... Very significant. So the reality is, um, this and this are highlighted, and this actually wound up making, and this is a big deal. Yeah. A Bond poster. I know a Bond poster. Come on, what does that do for you? Oh, uh, that was insane. I always remember we were away, and uh, I kind of got this alert saying you need to check out. We we're on the teaser poster. And I said no, we can't be on the teaser poster. And there it was. It was just incredible, incredible. Uh, and to have that association, knowing that it isn't about now, it's, right. it's there forever. It's, yes, it's, it isn't going to change. You know, in ten years' time, the association's there, and so uh, that's something really special, really, it, it really is. special. And by the way, just to bring it back to significance, yeah. some one of our viewers had mentioned, um, who's a huge Anfield fan, mm. they said, you know, you go back and you collect these old Sean Connery posters. The reality is, is people forty years from now will collect mm. a Spectre poster with somebody wearing an NPL sweater. Yeah, amazing. It's vintage, yeah. it's bizarre, yeah. it's timeless, yeah. it's... Yeah, you're in, you're in the history book, so it's... It's, it's all really, those things. really special for us. By the way, um, this is a viewer question. I have to throw one yeah. of these in here. Um, did you also make the beanie that he wears in the mm. film that you may have seen in the trailer? No, that's not what Emphatically not. Yeah, okay. emphatically not, yeah. I'd love to say yes. Yeah, right. Made, I mean, this would have been a great yes. break in information. <laughs> no, that's understandable. Yeah. So um, this is going to get to a little bit of a process, but the people that have been introduced to NPL, and it's been an yeah. interesting process because things like Billy Reed and Tom Ford, they're luxury brands, but people have yeah. started off dipping their toes in the water because of Bond, and then lo and behold, are buying other pieces from Billy Reed, other pieces from Tom yeah. Ford. A lot of it has to do with when you when you get an NPL, and this is me saying this, so this is this is the gentleman that owns the company, this is the gentleman that has no stake in the company, but it does have a very different feel than the typical cashmere. Mm. What is it about that? What is that process? Um, to put it in a cashmere is a brand in itself, I guess. Uh, it's a very special fiber. It comes from a goat uh, that lives in Mongolia. And uh, like anything, some cashmere's are more equal than others. Um, and at NPL, we control it from the goat to the garment to while you're walking out the door. So in, in, in our ability to control that process, every single stage of the process, and I won't bore you that there's, it's an incredibly complicated process, but to control every stage of the process and set standards and um, that will, that's the difference. All right. So and it's interesting. Um, so all of you who are watching this on YouTube mm. right now, if, if you actually look up NPL, you mm. actually have personally done, I've seen you walk the fields, I've seen you pet a baby goat, yeah. um, get involved uh, in a very organic way with the process. So it's yeah. actually worth watching. Even the dying process, there's, um, there's some extra added steps that are a little bit yeah. more care to it than I think you've done. Yeah. It, it, well, for us, it's about not just, you know, most people are buying garments almost for, against the design but we're you know at MPL we're going right back to the herders you know we're dealing we're, we're dealing with the source uh, yeah. and we're building relationships right back at source and that makes a difference yeah. you know and it's it's about so you've got you know, real integrity to the product and, and a, a great quality product yeah and that's that's important to mention I, so I usually do this mm. on, on a lot of the videos so we've got quality, we've got the Bond Association, we have other items that have that level of, of high quality. In addition to that, it is about the customer experience. And one of the things I mentioned to Kate and some of the people that really drive that experience is whether it's through email or ordering or coming into the shop, which I highly recommend because it's a very immersive experience. Um, it is a higher level of, of experience. You're greeted. Um, some of these shops, and I'll be very frank, and not so much here, but you know, you tend to almost feel like you're intruding, like mm -hmm. somebody's watching if you're going to nick something. It's an very bracing family experience, even yeah. through email, and that's yeah. obviously yeah. something that you've been driving for. 
No, very much so. I mean, it, 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 for me personally, I hate walking into a store and feeling uncomfortable. So, so that's part of our culture that that says actually we're not some uber untouchable luxury brand. We you know we want people to come in. We want people to feel at home uh, and enjoy the experience. Get a great customer service because that's you know that's that's a huge part of it. It's part of the. It's not just about the product. It is about the product, but it's also about everything associated with it. And, yeah. and it's got to deliver. I'll be, I'll be frank with you, mm. uh, the, uh, the purchase of these type mm. of clothes, at least with the Bond fans, there is what I call a herd mentality. Mm. So if there is a bad experience, there has mm. been a movement of the herd away from that product. So they may get that Bond piece, but they will yeah. never connect yeah. with the loyalty of the brand. Yeah. If you embrace it, you know, places like N. Peel and, and Billy Reed and, and other companies that have done that, yeah. you'll own them for life. I mean, it's a loyalty and advocacy program. So, okay, it goes to you. So, <laughs> yeah. your marketing department and you, as the owner and managing yeah. director, are thinking to yourself, great, Spectre is going to have a wonderful run, it's going to have some longevity. Um, what is your plan of action, if there is one? Maybe you're just kind of, you know, exhaling right now and keeping connected with the Bond brand, even potentially for the next Bond movie. Uh, well, we'd love to maintain that connection, both with the, I mean, obviously we're getting, we're building our customers that we'll wish to, uh, to continue uh, communicating with mm -hmm. and through yourselves, um, you know, and talk to those customers. Uh, and we'd love to stay, in, in, you know, involved with the uh, with Bond going forward and through the next film. We've got to see whether Mr. Craig gets another outing or whether he doesn't. And, and do you send things to him? I mean, he personally wears a lot of his clothes yeah. that he wears on the film out in public. He's a clothes horse. Yeah, no, amazing. I, 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 to be honest, we're guilty of not sending him anything. Yeah. Not out of means. Well, now he's going to see am. this. You're, you're going to get screwed. <laughs> no, I, yeah. But uh, yeah, only because yeah, I, I don't know how you do that. But uh, yeah, we really should. We'll give you an address before we leave. But, uh, <laughs> people tend to stalk him. I don't know what yeah. that's about. Yeah. Well, first of all, thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for you know connecting with us, giving some of us behind the scenes. Um, Adam, my pleasure. Thank you very much, Thank David. Thank you for hosting yes. us, and this has been David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience at N. Peel right here. I suggest you highly come very quickly because these things don't last forever. We'll see you very soon. Take care.